you start calibrating the brick, it's important to remove your watch and cell phone and keep all metal and electronics away from the brick. Press any button to turn it on and then press the top button to go into the main menu. The middle two buttons scroll up and down, the bottom is for back, and the top is enter. We will start with a full calibration, so we go to calibration, enter, and then full inclination and azimuth. Once you're here, press any button. This will show you the, the main calibration screen. The goal is to get a distribution, an even distribution of 14 different stations. That means in compass heading and in inclination. You will need to take four shots per station and each of these small circles will turn black when a, a shot has been taken. You can click abort at any time to, to restart the calibration or group reset to reset the station that you are doing. Um, it's easiest to pick a dark location in a forest or a cave entrance uh, to calibrate the brick. Uh, we are using uh, reflective tape, but that's not necessary. Uh, it's just to show you um, where we're picking for stations. When calibrating the brick, take your time the calibration is only accurate if you are taking accurate shots, um, and each shot, the device should be rolled 90 degrees like this to get the best results. So I will start. After taking a group of four shots in one direction, I can choose to angle the device higher or lower, uh, or I can change the orientation, it does not matter. I can also choose to move the device to another location to take a different shot. After shooting the first group of four, the, black, the dots are now black. When I turn the laser on again and take another shot, they will clear. So after the second group, the circles are now black. I can go, I can pick a new station. When I select a place to, to place the brick, it's important to align the back spud in the same place each time. Uh, it should be rotated on this black piece, 90 degrees. And we will repeat this for 13 other stations. After the 14 groups are, are finished, you click the Done button on top and it will calibrate itself. There's no need to connect to TopoDroid or any other smartphone. And in about 30 seconds to a minute, the calibration will be complete. After the calibration is complete, the azimuth and inclination standard deviation will be displayed on the screen and you are all done. Uh, the full calibration is only required about once a year, or if you travel a significant distance, uh, say 5,000 kilometers or more. Uh, otherwise, a, uh, a simple calibration is, is an option. In order to do a quick calibration, uh, it should be done every three to six months, or if you travel within your own country. Uh, to start, you go to the main menu, and then to calibration and quick azimuth calibration. Uh, press any button to continue. And this is simple. You All you need to do is rotate the device very slowly. And you will see the large square will start to turn black. The goal is to, to co cover the entire square in black. And that happens again as you turn it 
very slowly. You need to rotate it in 360 degrees in both orientations. Once that is done, it will, it will show the done button and again, click it and you are all set.